Hey guys, so I didn't think I'd be making this video this quickly. So if you if you remember, um, at the start of the year, I did a video browsing the Wii U eShop. And that was just me browsing around, looking at it for fun, because I had a strong feeling <laughs> that soon enough, it's gonna hit the bucket. Uh, and yeah, that's that's what happened. That, that's what's happening right now. Uh, I know I'm a little late on this. This was like five days ago now. Um, I kept procrastinating making this video. Um, but on February 15th, at 8.03 p.m., Nintendo of America stated, as of late March 2023, it'll no longer be possible to make Nintendo eShop purchases for the Wii U and the 3DS family of systems. Um, so, yeah, th this is going to happen eventually, right? The 3DS is over 10 years old, and the Wii U is going to be 10 years old this year, which, yeah, I get it. But, man, it, it does hurt a lot. And the reason why it hurts a lot for me is because I was actually buying a bunch of stuff on my 3DS uh, recently. Buying all the stuff I wanted before the inevitable happens. But this was before I knew about this. Um, and I bought stuff like the Kirby games on there. Uh, a few virtual console games, DSiWare games, uh, I know it did buy Mario and Donkey Kong, a bunch of stuff on there. Um, but, here's the thing now, it's gonna be literally impossible for me to complete that collection of games without hacking, which is what I'm gonna have to do, because as of May 23rd, 2022, it's no longer gonna be possible to use a credit card to add funds to an account through the, uh, eShop on the Wii U or 3DS, and as of August 29th, you'll not be able to use Nintendo eShop cards to add funds onto the Wii U. However, it's still possible to really redeem download goes. Oh. Okay, and then it's gonna fully shut down in late March 2023. Now, um, you could technically, you can technically still buy things with by adding funds to your switch if you have a connected account thing is my I was dumb I was very dumb back then so I made my like the first console I got out of the Wii U and 3DS was the 3DS back in I think 2014 and I made my uh, Nintendo Network ID account and then for some reason I made a completely different one on the Wii U because I thought I had to make a different one and I couldn't just use the same one for my 3DS. And the Wii U one is what I use for my Switch as well. So my Switch is not connected to my 3DS but I still have all my purchases tied to my 3DS. So basically what I'm saying is that I'm fucked with 3DS collecting. Wii U though, I can still buy the stuff on there. But still, it kind of pisses me off that like <laughs> they literally, they put this out and like, oh, you, 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 you got three months, you got three months to actually buy things with a credit card, or else you're going to have to go out to a store and buy a bunch of eShop cards. Oh my god, even, even, even then, even that's like six, seven months until August, and for someone who doesn't make that much money like me, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do that. Definitely not. Christ. Um... Uh, and that's my that's one of my issues is that it it feels so sudden, you know. Uh, another big issue I have is again there's also DLC and updates that are not going to be available for games that you own physically, like the Fire Emblem games, um, Smash Brothers, uh, Phoenix Wright. Although I guess Phoenix Wright is available on mobile as well, but eh. Now. Here's here's the thing that leads to my next point. Um, I don't most most of these games on the Wii U and 3DS eShops, even the games that are on, like physically, they don't have other ways to buy them on the Switch, uh, especially Virtual Console, because you're missing out on pretty much like most of the really good Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, uh, 
from the 3DS. There was even Game Gear games, but Sega could always put those out on their own because they're really good with doing that. Um, with the Wii U, there was a lot of stuff. There's uh, specific N64 games that we don't have on Switch yet, like Donkey Kong 64, the original Pokemon Snap. Um, there's also... Uh, <laughs> There's also specific. There's one specific NES game that's not going to be on Switch for a while, or even at all. It's going to be Duck Hunt, because they the Wii U version of Duck Hunt is special because it uses the Wii Remote as the like light gun, which makes it the only port of Duck Hunt we've ever had. Um, there's also there's also the fact that Super Mario RPG is like still not on the Switch and it's on the Wii U and 3DS. I'm pretty. Is it on? Is it on 3DS? I think it's on 3DS. Or at least Earthbound is on 3DS. Those games are on Switch now. But besides the point, there's also Game Boy Advance games, which actually have, like, Super Mario Advance 4 has all the e-reader levels, which can't be unlocked in the English version normally without using a emulator or the uh, Wii U eShop version. Which is fun. I, I, I just bought it last night, actually. But another game that has stuff that's actually almost exclusive to the Virtual Console version is the DS Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. Which I'm pretty sure from what I heard has online... Like, the game had, like, online connectivity content. Back when the, the uh, Nintendo Wi-Fi uh, thing for the DS was still online. And of course, you can't access that with a like, cartridge version anymore, but they actually implemented that offline. Like, all the content from the online stuff, offline on the Wii U Virtual Console version. And oh, again, a lot of these Game Boy Advance and DS games are not going to be available on the Switch. And Wii games, too. You can also digitally download some Wii games, and there's some, there's some games there that are pretty fucking rare to buy secondhand, like um, Metroid Prime Trilogy... The Pikmin new play control games. Um, like, just in general. And even just, like, normal Wii, normal Wii U games are expensive as hell sometimes. Like, Wii Sports Club. Uh, weirdly enough, Game & Wario is very expensive. Um, the one I'm concerned about the most in shooting up in price, even though I already own it, is Xenoblade Chronicles X. Because Xenoblade is so, so much more popular now than what it was back in 2016. So, I have a feeling, because they haven't ported this at all to Switch or any any other way. So, I have a feeling it's going to shoot up in price as more people want to play this. Especially with Xenoblade 3 coming soon this year. But, uh, yeah, it just sucks. It sucks. And <laughs> Nintendo's bullshit on this. And I remember on their Q&A, they, uh, they deleted a part of their Q&A that said, Oh, uh, when will you... Well, how, why are you going to preserve these games? Are you going to make them available? Aren't, don't you have like, aren't, do you, shouldn't you be able to, you know, um, make these games available? And they just said, nope, they're not going to be a lot, you're not going to be able to purchase them on Switch, and there's no current plans to put them all on Switch. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> See, let me read it like word for word. We currently have no plans to offer classic content in other ways. Across our Nintendo Switch Online membership plans, over 130 classic games are currently available in growing libraries for various legacy systems. Bro, there was like 130 NES games on the Wii Shop channel alone. <sighs> Enhanced with new features, such as online play. Well, online is fine when it works, but I wouldn't call them enhanced, especially with, this, with the uh, N64, where it has tons of emulation issues, and I'm pretty sure Paper Mario has like a fucking save file corrupting bug we think it's an effective way to make classic content available to broad players broad range of players but no you're tying it to a subscription service just let us buy them separately for for christ's sake it's it's, it's so baffling to me this this whole thing this whole thing is just baffling to my ass cuz like I don't know. Like, Nintendo, like, even though the, the Wii U wasn't doing that well, they did so good on giving us, like, so many classic games. Because, yeah, we had NES, and SNES, N64, uh, Game Boy Advance, DS, and Wii. 
sure, there was no GameCube, but we still had a bunch of stuff on there. Um, including handhelds, which we didn't think would be on there, especially DS. That was pretty crazy. Um, even TurboGrafx-16 and Neo Geo stuff's on there, but that's like... At least Neo Geo stuff is like on everything now. Um, I just... I, I don't... I don't get it. And... Like, Nintendo gets so mad at people, like, pirating their games, but with situations like this, where games are, that are tied to digital digital downloads, especially, like, even back with the Wii Shop channel, there's no way to play these games legally anymore. So what do you expect us to do? Just not, you're not gonna let us play them anymore? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it, it's so ass-backwards to me, I don't know why. I don't know why you can't just make it available on the Switch. It's free money. It's literally free money. And you're not doing shit about it. Oh, oh boy. I I, I, I genu genuinely hope that they learn from this when, like, the Switch 2 comes out. Because they probably won't. But I just... Oh my god, bro. It's, it's, it's sometimes hard to support a company like this so much because they make really good games but when they do shit like this like okay of course like i'm not mad at the fact that the eShop is closing i'm mad at the fact that all of this shit is just gonna be gone and not available like like, like especially like with uh other companies like microsoft they do like a really good job with keeping up their legacy content because like xbox game pass and just like the xbox in general you could play games from the original xbox still which is great but with nintendo now you either get a fucking okay so sure 20 dollars for switch online get nes and snes games you get a good amount of them some of them are kind of garbage but you get a lot of like their mainstay good ones at least first party mainstay good ones and even, like, the third-party ones, they're probably on a collection, like, Mega Man Legacy Collections or the Castlevania Anniversary Collections. They're probably on there. N64, though? Tie it behind a $60 Canadian a year paywall. Sure, you get Animal Crossing DLC, and you'll be getting, uh, Mario Kart DLC soon, and, I guess, Second Genesis, but... Uh, the Second Genesis makes no sense to me, because, uh... Like, all of those games are available on other ways like this Genesis Classic or the classic collections for like any system. Even I just Bro Come on. Like okay. I this is a lot harder to keep up when it's completely unscripted like this. But I just I just don't see how they can't let us just I can't I don't see how they can't just sell it they can't just sell these Game Boy like it can't be that hard to emulate these games and just sell them or at least put them on switch online I I don't know and like some people are out here they're they're out here defending this like oh well what well, you're all like resorting to piracy already well like why don't you just, you already have like seven months to buy all the games you want, why don't you just do that? Well, no, no, that's incredibly, <laughs> that, that that sounds incredibly un, like entitled to me, because how many people have the money to buy a bunch of like everything they want off a digital store like this? Because especially if you're like, like a, like a big fan of like, like Nintendo games or just video games in general, you're going to want a lot of these. Because there's a lot of good stuff on 3DS that are that's exclusive on there. You got the Ace Attorney games. You got the uh, Dylan's Rolling Western, Fluidity, the Mario and Donkey Kong game. Even Dr. Mario Miracle Cure is pretty good. The Kirby Deluxe games. Uh, 3D Classics. Like, uh... Oh, the SteamWorld, oh, the SteamWorld games are available in other places. But you won't be able to buy those versions of those games. And like, like I said, I just listed off like easily... A bunch of games that are really good. And even even this other stuff. There's other stuff like Picross uh, 3D Round 2. And Rhythm Heaven. Uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever Mega Mix. Which like. 
but those are like forty dollar games that are eShop exclusive, and like no, no, no one's gonna have that much money. Like no normal person is gonna have the amount of money to buy all that stuff. Wii U, Wii U maybe, but I still have doubts of the Wii U, especially if like. Especially if you're not like a physical game collector like I am, then there's like a whole other library of games that are way more expensive that you will not be able to buy and it's probably not feasible to buy all of them before uh, whenever March 2023. So, yeah, yeah, it's just, it's, it's upsetting. Let me look through the uh, Q&A real quick before I end off this video. This is, a sh this is a short one. I just wanted to put something out that's a little bit short. Uh, one thing that's cool is that Pokemon Bank is gonna be uh, uh, is gonna be free to use once the eShop closes, which is nice. Let's you transfer all your stuff to Pokemon Home, but that still means that you won't be able, like eventually the servers are gonna shut down for that, and that means you won't be able to transfer Pokemon from uh, from like the 3DS games, like I'm pretty sure you could transfer Pokemon to Pokemon Bank using um, the virtual console versions of Gen 1 and Gen 2, and then there's Gen 6 and Gen 7 that you're not going to be able to port, like bring those after that. And even like even Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5, there's ways to do that, I and mean, they're all just going to be gone. And they're not really fun on porting these games to this modern consoles. They weren't even like good on porting the Pokemon games back then because like. They ported Gen 1 and Gen 2, and that was it. No, Gen 3, 4, 4, or 5, even though they had virtual consoles available for them. My lord. Okay, let me let me actually look at the Q&A. Why is this happening? As part of the natural life cycle for any product, as it becomes less used by consumers over time, I'm pretty sure a lot of people still use their 3DS. I'm not so sure on that. But, like, there's still enough people buying shit from the eShops. I mean, maybe Wii U, like, maybe... But still, I, I guess in a sense they're right about that. But still, they didn't stop Sony from keeping the PS3 and Vita stores up a year in advance. Well, you're not really in a year in advance because, like, again, like I said, you're not going to be able to add funds if you don't have your thing connected to your Wii U or 3DS. And after it shuts down, you'll be able to re-download content, but that's not going to be available in the, like, the entire time. But you're not going to be able to purchase any DLC or Wii Sports Club stuff or any of the um, DLC and like you won't be able to do stuff for a Nintendo Badge Arcade. You won't be able to download demos, redeemed codes, and any anything like that. I think you'll still, it says you'll still be able to download some free themes from the uh, theme shop on 3DS, which okay, sure. But that's pretty much it that all it is said. They did put out a uh, 3DS and Wii U memories thing, which is like what they do for the Switch every year. Like at the end of the every year with the Switch, it shows you like a tally of like your most played games and how long you've played on your Switch the entire year. Which I like that, but it doesn't make it doesn't really soften any of this. Cause like I I feel especially hurt from this because the Wii U and 3DS was like the point where I became like a like like even more invested into video games and I just do have a lot of good memories of playing like Mario Kart 7 um Mario Maker Smash uh virtual console games especially uh street passing and all that stuff I have really good memories even Nintendo Badger Arcade I still play Nintendo Badger Arcade to this day I'm I want to make a video on that one day um but that's honestly it that's honestly all I have to say about the eShop for now. I'm planning on doing some videos on the Wii U eShop uh, later down the line. Like I'll just I'll do like maybe two more videos of browsing through it before it shuts down. Uh, I'll try and do one for 3DS. Although I don't have a 3DS capture card, so it might be a little difficult for me to actually record that. Um, but other than that, that's that's gonna be about it. Yeah, I have more videos planned throughout the week, including a new Let's Play. Uh, let me know if you like this more just un unedited uh, 
yeah, unedited, unscripted type video because I this is the first time I'm really doing doing this kind of thing. But that'll be it for today, guys. So see you tomorrow with whatever I put out. Yeah.